Welcome to Ed Foodie. Today I'm going to make one of these uh, quick meals. Um, last week I was just kind of throwing something together and uh, didn't really pay much attention and just whatever I had available and it actually turned out very good. So uh, I guess I'll call it stir fried fresh green beans and tomatoes. And uh, the way I'm going to make this you can have it either as a side dish, and I'll show you that first, or you can kind of convert it into a main meal. And it's uh, one of these meals that you come home from work and you forgot to put anything out, and you just, uh, what can I make real quick? So uh, let's get started. All right, what I've got going here is just a frying pan, and uh, put in about one or two teaspoons of uh, bacon grease. That's gonna go um, really well with the uh, green beans. All right, I think my bacon grease is warmed up. I have a cup, no, I have a half a cup of roughly chopped onions. Would probably be better if you used, a, if you have it, a tablespoon of, a, of the bacon grease. That way you'll be able to get the green beans and everything all nice and soaked in there. All right, it's been about uh, three minutes or so. Uh, onions are starting to get a little soft. So let's go ahead and add, um, I've got about eight ounces of fresh green beans that have been trimmed and cut into fairly even pieces. I've got one jalapeno, finely chopped. I have a cup of carrots that are kind of in julienne style slices. We'll stir this around real good, get all the vegetables coated with the uh, bacon grease. I'm gonna turn this down to about a medium. And we'll let this go for another, let's say three or four minutes um, make sure those onions are nice and really soft. Get the carrots cooked and the green beans. You know, I want a little bit crunchy. That's why uh, for sure you want to use fresh green beans. You don't want to use canned beans or frozen. All right, it's been about three minutes. We'll stir these around a little bit. I'm going to add um, a little bit of salt. I don't know, half a teaspoon. Some fresh ground black pepper. And I've got about a half of a pint of cherry tomatoes that I've sliced in half. All right, so we'll um, do this for like another three minutes just to get those tomatoes uh, hot or heated. But really nice colors, you got those Bright red from the tomatoes, a bright green from fresh green beans, an orange from the carrots. Really looks nice. All right, so let's let this go for a few minutes. All right, for the last little finishing touches here, I want to add, um, I grate it up maybe a teaspoon of ginger. Maybe half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. Get that mixed good. And then I've got about a fourth of a fresh lemon. And I'm just going to squeeze that fresh juice on there. Okay, we'll just cook this for maybe a minute and keep stirring uh, just to get that ginger flavor all mixed in there really good. What I'll do now is just spoon some of this into a little side dish. So this is gonna be our, our vegetable side dish. So here's the, the vegetable side dish. Looks really good, smells good. So to convert this into a, like a, a main meal, what I've done is I've already browned up about a half a pound of ground beef we're just going to pour that in there. Basically just warm this up. Um, it's already pretty warm because I just cooked it before I started this. 
And then we'll serve this on a, a bed of rice and you got a whole meal. All right, I got my plate with rice. Now I'm just gonna spoon this, the hamburger, the beans. And get some tomatoes on there. So here you have it on rice with ground beef in there and you got a whole meal. All right, let's uh, taste this. Mm, pop. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Green beans are oh, really good, fresh. A little bit crunchy. Really good. It's quick, easy. If you want, I'm gonna put some, uh, maybe a little bit of balsamic vinegar on top of mine. That'll give it a really nice taste too. So uh, there's a quick meal or side dish, whichever one you wanna make. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Ed Foodie right over there. And thank you so much for watching.